uh, we use the uh, the ring as an antenna, and uh, Hans Becker, who's one of our top technical people, uh, <clears throat> started at noon, and we got a graph like this with a plateau at sunset down to midnight, back up to sunrise, a little plateau, and then back up to a peak at noon. And what we discovered was that this is a, a gravity function. And <clears throat> in this graphic, we had some you know, little wiggles on the line here. A uh, big peak in here, another one over here. This was a uh, solar flare on the far side of the sun, right about midnight. And then a few hours later, after midnight, there was a volcanic eruption in Japan. And the ring used as an antenna picked up those very distant signals. So we were comparing the, uh, the satellite data and the seismic data from Japan. And we were in Dubuque, Iowa doing this test. And our recording was instantaneous. You know, there was no travel time with the seismic wave and no travel time for the uh, solar flare. The satellite report came in about 15 <coughs> minutes later, but our recording was instantaneous. So this, you know, began to get us thinking about gravity and its effects. And gravity is uh, the gravity information transmit instantaneously. So it's faster than light. Normally there would be, you know, a solar flare would only be visible eight minutes after it occurred. And there's some delay in the satellite transmission, so uh, our discovery here was that we had instantaneous communication faster than light. And subsequently, uh, we've run into Dr. Muller's information out of Germany. Uh, the name is Hartmut Muller. And <clears throat> you can look him up on the internet. Very, very exciting information if you have any interest in science. It just absolutely makes things so much clearer than anything I'd read in the science area previously. And it's very logical. He has some excellent, excellent, excellent graphics. Um, shows you in three dimensions what the gravity wave looks like and what the structure of space is. And you can see that in the formation of hills, uh, the Sedona area, incidentally, uh, is a perfect example of the effect of gravity waves on the formation of uh, rock structures. There's one group of rocks there at Sedona that is almost a perfect replica of the Angkor Wat temples in Cambodia. And how those old boys figured out what the standing gravity wave was there at Anchor Lot, I'll never know, but <laughs> it just, it's a perfect example in three dimensions. And it, it shows us just how the ancients understood gravity. Uh, on a technical point, the cubit length of 20.6 inches is what we use in the ring technology 
and I include the coils and the harmonizers. Uh, this cubit length is actually a, a measure of the wavelength of gravity, which is responsible for the construction of the physical universe. Okay, I can make the statement because I've not only intuited it, but this cubit length <coughs> is the yardstick found in the boss in the pyramid. Uh, the boss is a little square projection, 72.1 inches above the floor at the entrance of the king's chamber. So that's about my eye level. And <coughs> the perimeter of this boss which is approximately 5.15 inches on a side, um, gives the cubit length in square measure. And we discovered uh, in Hans Becker's lab that when we make a cubit length of wire, and join the ends together in a ring <coughs> that we have a natural resonant frequency of uh, 144 megahertz. Okay, 144 megahertz is a very high microwave frequency and it's <coughs> a frequency that's used by in nature it's a harmonic of light speed using Bruce Cathy's uh, harmonic formulas. Um, 144 megahertz is approximately the frequency of uh, certain brain waves in the higher states of consciousness. Uh, the Several governments are meddling in that area for mind control. <coughs> uh, we just discovered that recently. And uh, in, in the usual case of things, when, when there's a problem, the solution already exists. Uh, two weeks ago, we were contacted by uh, a lady there in, in Colorado who's developed a silent sound technology that uh, takes that, let, let's say in our, in these mind control programs, they create a loop, like an endless tape that runs in your mind, same thought repeats and repeats and repeats and you get into the circular thinking. Well, her silent sound program breaks the, breaks the cycle. And <clears throat> listening to the silent sound for a short period, uh, you'll find that your entire thought pattern changes. And all the things that you believed at one time you were fed as propaganda, all of a sudden doesn't work anymore begin to think totally differently and independently. So we're going to be uh, promoting her technology and bringing that forward within the next few months. Uh, Is it going to be available for you, sir? That will be available on our website or hers. <coughs> 